In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome everyone to this Mass here at St. Denis as we celebrate today the Memorial of St. Bernard, Abbot and Doctor of the Church. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's first acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons who married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. When they had lived there about 10 years, both Malon and Kilian died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, see now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God my God. Thus, uh, thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps its faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. 
The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Alleluia. 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 Teach me your path, my God. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus summarizes the whole law and the prophets of the Old Testament in a great double commandment. We are to love God with all our heart, all our soul, and all our mind. And we are to love other people as we love ourselves. In this way, Jesus boils down the teaching of the Old Testament to what is most essential, love. And Jesus himself teaches us all about love. By his words and actions, Jesus teaches us that love is not just a warm and positive feeling towards someone else. Rather, love is expressed and experienced through concrete actions, particularly through works of mercy that address the needs of others. In its purest form, love involves sacrificing oneself for the sake of others, including for God, as well as for family, friends, neighbors, and even strangers. And that's how Jesus himself lived. Jesus sacrificed his life. That is, he poured out his heart, soul, and lifeblood to do the Father's will, and to save all who believe in him from sin and eternal death. And as Christians, we are to live in the same loving, generous, self-sacrificial way. And so in today's gospel, Jesus not only summarizes the whole law and the prophets from the Old Testament, Jesus also summarizes our purpose in life. Our purpose in life is to love God and love other people wholeheartedly and unreservedly. 
we may worry about and care about lots of other things in our daily lives. But in the end, love is the only thing that really matters to God. And therefore, love should be the only thing that really matters to us. Please stand. Now let us turn to the Lord with our petitions. For the church, may the Lord continue to bless her with fortitude in her protection of the unborn and the dignity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for leaders throughout the world, and for the prosperity and peaceful coexistence of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children who do not receive the love that they need because of abuse or neglect, and for adults who are struggling to recover from abuse or neglect in their childhood, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here, and for those who are part of our community but unable to be present with us today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they rejoice forever with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the special intentions of Janet McIntyre Polk and Zion Alforque Chan, and for the repose of the souls of Ines Sarmievito, Pilar and Nicanor Ferrer, and Alfredo Boise Niguez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who need our prayers, for all of those we have promised to pray for, and for all of the prayer intentions that are listed in the comments sections of YouTube and Facebook for this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all power and compassion, we pray that you accept these prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the Abbot St. Bernard a man understanding in a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For everyone who is celebrating Mass with us from home, let's pray together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work to work its effect in us so that, strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. After the Mass, we will have exposition and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament here in the church until 9.30 a.m. And it will include, conclude with a simple benediction at 9.30. After that, Father Dennis and I will be in the courtyard to hear confessions. We offer confessions after the 8 a.m. Mass every weekday, Monday through Saturday. This afternoon, we will have confessions again, but this time in the church from 5 to 6 p.m. At 7 p.m., we have our evening Mass, and 7.45 p.m., we have a holy hour here in the church. Both that Mass and the holy hour will be live-streamed. This is the third Friday of the month, and on the third Friday of the month, our young adults gather for this holy hour on the third Friday, and afterward they stay to hang out or to go out for some food and refreshments. So if you're a young adult, we invite you to join us tonight, 7.45 p.m. for the holy hour. By the way, all of the construction in the church has been completed, so we are returning to our usual schedule. The church and chapel will be open as usual on Fridays, open all day until 9 p.m. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.